Hello, welcome to Cloud Learning, Cloud Learning Channel. In this module, we'll learn uh, what is Cloud SQL and what is uh, Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL. And we will also learn how to create a Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL uh, using Google Cloud uh, Console and how to connect using PZ Admin 4 tool. Uh, how to connect to this uh, PostgreSQL instance using PZ Admin 4 tool. So before I go to the Google Cloud, before I log into Google Cloud Console, and I'll quickly give you uh, a few details about Cloud SQL and uh, Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL. The Cloud SQL is a fully managed relational database service for MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQL Server. So it frees us from database administ administration tasks so that we have more time to manage our data. What is a Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL? Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL is a fully managed database service that helps us set up, maintain, manage, and administer our PostgreSQL relational databases on Google Cloud Platform. I will log into Google Cloud Console now. I will show you how to create a Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL instance in Google Cloud Platform. I logged into Google Cloud uh, Platform. Uh, let me go to uh, the options here on your left and uh, go down and here we can see that uh, SQL option and click on the SQL option. Now we should be able to see that Cloud SQL page. And um, here we can see all the list of instances that are available. So earlier modules, I created MySQL and SQL Server. And in this module, I will create a PostgreSQL. So click on Create Instance. And here we see that the, the list of database engines available in this Cloud SQL in Google Cloud Platform. And I will select um, PostgreSQL here. I choose PostgreSQL. Now we need to select the name here. We need to uh, enter the name. That's our instance ID. I will say instance PostgreSQL. And uh, we need to create a password. We will use this password to connect to this PostgreSQL using our PZ admin tool. So please remember this password so that uh, you can use this password to connect using PZ admin 4 after creating this instance. And let's look at the, the list of versions available uh, in this page. So um, we have list of versions available 9.6, 10, Postgre 11, Postgre 12, 13, 14. I will select the latest version. And now we need to choose the configuration to start with. So we have two available. One is production and the uh, other one is development. So we already know that development is a little, a little expensive and uh, this is just a demo exercise. So I will select a development configuration and we can look at the configuration details quickly. We have two CPUs and then it is a single zone and memory 8 GB and storage same as production and everything is enabled, automatic storage increases, automated backups and point in time recovery. Everything is enabled and uh, maintenance order is the production for later and development any. So we can change this if you want, but uh, this is just a uh, exercise, uh, demo exercise. So I select the development uh, configuration for this exercise. And uh, I can keep US East one and it's a single zone availability and uh, you, we can also specify the zones if we want and let's look at the other configuration settings uh, machine type is just two cpu and storage is uh, ssd i will keep 100 gb and connections uh, i will enable public ip and make sure you enable you add your ip address here so that you can connect to this postgresql instance using your whatever tool you are using so that you must add your ip address to connect to your postgresql instance in google cloud platform if you are not connecting from local computer if you are connecting from some other vpn or anything and please add that uh, uh, network address here so that uh, you don't face any access issues. 
and uh, in the cancel it i will add this letter uh, for myself and uh, enable deletion deletion protection so if you enable it uh, so you you're not able to delete this server because you are checking this option so uh, we can always change it but uh, since a demo exercise and once this exercise is done i may delete this instance but let me just like you know uh, maybe i'll just keep it uh, enabled for now and maintenance everything looks good flags look good and query insights everything look good so let me just uh no label set so i'm fine with it and let's quickly review our summary region us east south carolina version 14 to cpus 8 gp 100 gp storage and everything looks good and public ip connection available let's create this instance so here we see the notification that instance is being created and now let's now let's look at it so we already know that we can um, uh, check the metrics by using this option we have all the options available total memory usage cpu utilization storage usage active connection and we can also look, do the custom date range if we want if we want to like you know check particular metrics for the the time uh, we can uh, enter that time range and look at it and we can select like last six hours uh, CPU utilization or active connections and we can take a look at everything and uh, here is the connection name and once this instance is created we can see that public IP address so that will the the, uh, the address that we can use to connect to this PostgreSQL uh, using our uh, tools like you know for this session I'm using PG admin tool so we will connect using uh, a PG admin tool the instance is being created now uh, let's look at the overview and here we see that all options are enabled the edit import export start stop every all the options enabled and here we can see that connect to to this uh, postgre sql instance we can use this public ip address and also the connection name and everything is available the version and uh, the configuration so now i will use pg admin uh, tool to connect to this postgre sql and i will run some basic uh, sql uh, queries that I will create a database schema and create a table and load some data, insert some data into table and we will query against the table. I open this PG admin uh, tool that uh, here we see that uh, the databases and table spaces. So now I will select here and uh, I will register, register the server and click on the server. Now I'll just create a server name as a, a post frame. Uh, let me just say a cloud SQL for PostgreSQL. The next one is connection. So we need this address. So let me just uh, go, let me just go to our uh, instance page and uh, copy this public IP address. Now I'll just come back here just enter the details and then just enter the address and uh, everything looks good and maintain maintenance database postgres username postgres and make sure you enter the username as postgres and now enter the password that we created during the deployment i enter all the details and everything looks good let me save this and make sure that yes so now I successfully register my um, Cloud SQL for PostgreSQL instance in this PG admin port. So now I will just open a, a query tool. Uh, let me see, I need the query tool. That I'm... Okay, so let me just create a database here. And again, if you want to create a database, so we have a option here at databases. If you want to create a database, you can just click here and say test uh, 01. So we can, we should be able to see this database here. So here it says, one second, and this is available, test 01. Now let me go back and another option. 
let me just here just refresh this and here and we are able to see our uh, database here we just created now i want to create one more database here come here and create a database and i will call this database as uh, test 02 now i have another database also available here now let me just open a query to uh, now I will create a schema. I will call a schema name as a city. So we are create. Uh, I'm creating a schema now, and then I will create a table under this schema. Just execute this, and here we see that the query written successfully, and uh, uh, schema is created. Okay, so here you can look at it. Our uh, we are using test zero to database here. And look at the schemas, and here we are. We see the schema name or city schema is available here. Now I will create a table under this schema. Just um, enter create table city is the schema, and the table is cities. And I'm just using. Uh, I'm just creating two attributes in this table. Now the table is created. Here we see that the, the, the message query written successfully. Now, now I will enter a couple of records in this table. And again, if you want to see if the table is available or not, just go here, just refresh it. And uh, we should be able to see everything uh, under this database. Just click on city. And here click on the tables. And here we see that uh, the table name city is available. And to click on the columns, we just created two attributes city and country. So now I will enter, I will insert these two records into this table. Yeah, so the insert statement is successful. Uh, if we query against this table, we should be able to see those two records. Let me just uh, run a simple select query. Yeah, now we should we are we are able to see the records in this table. So we successfully created a table and uh, inserted those two records. Now it's available. And also I will just run one more query and just like you know make sure uh, I should be able to run all the queries against this table order by city. So we should be we should see the results uh, order by city. And here we see that the order is Beijing and San Francisco and uh, the country is China, yes. And uh, everything looks good. And uh, uh, let me quickly uh, review, uh, let me give you, let me give you details what we covered in this module. So we created an instance Postgre uh, SQL instance in Google Cloud Platform and we configured and we deployed that into single zone and we selected development with two CPU and 100 GB storage. And uh, we added our uh, IP address so that make sure we are able to connect to PostgreSQL from our local computer or any whatever network we are using, we must be able to that we did. And I opened this, I opened this PG admin tool to connect to that Postgre. And I, I, I registered the server by using this option, for, uh, just like, you know, uh, when you register it, uh, we can just use this option register and enter the Postgre uh, SQL server details. Uh, once we enter the details, then uh, I created one more database as a test 02. Again, uh, we had two options. We can uh, create a database using uh, a Google Cloud Console, or also we can use this uh, PG tool to connect database. And I created a database test 02 and uh, created a schema called city. And then I created a table called cities and enter uh, created table with two attributes and inserted data and we query it again. And when you are running a module uh, in your organizations or for your, uh, uh, in your local mission, if you face any issues and uh, please post all your questions or uh, if you're facing any error, please give all the details in the comment and I will try to give you a reply as soon as possible. And if you have any questions on this Postgre, uh, Cloud SQL for Postgre, and please post all your questions in the comment section. 
now if you want to uh, once your exercise is done or once your uh, development is done and if you want to stop this instance so that you don't get a bill from uh, google so you can just click on the stop so that uh, it will be stopped and whenever you want to start it again uh, you you will see the option here once it's stopped and then uh, you see the option uh, start again then you can start it and then you can continue with your development or with your etl etl process if you like this video please subscribe and uh, share the channel thank you